Hello, respected people, and welcome back to Respected Minister. Don't forget to subscribe the channel before starting the video. Malcolm Roberts tweeted, The Victorian government has let the cat out of the bag, admitting in a now-deleted report that 70% of agriculture farmland needs to be destroyed and used for wind and solar factories to reach their CO2 reduction targets. It's time to say no to the net zero agenda. Rod Dilks, this is false and possibly a deliberate lie. I'm all politicians shown to be deliberately spreading misinformation should have their generous superannuation canceled and donated to the causes they damage. Goldburns, and they will continue knowing full well the report is correct. The same as they elbow will continue in their manic way to pursue renewables. Whilst not telling us the real dollar cost, knowing full well the people would not stand for that price. Tim Lloyd. Renewables is putting money in the pockets of farmers. It is not destroying their land. It is making them much more resilient in hard times and drought. If you believe in keeping farmers and rural communities prosperous, you should be supporting renewables. What's your agenda? Chris, PhD from Life University. You mean the report that is literally titled Offshore Wind Policy Directions Paper and says that using onshore would take up too much land, so offshore it is? That report? Music Anarchy. What a load of nonsense. You make this stuff up. There is no evidence from official government sources to support the claim that 70% of agricultural farmland needs to be destroyed for wind and solar factories. Dion McKay, not looking forward to having the largest wind farm in the Southern Hemisphere just down the road 19 kilometers away. We already have degraded roads from the heavy trucks and they have imposed an 80 kilometers limit near the construction zone. Only another 240 to go. Robert Day. It was wrong. 70% of Vic's 127,000 square km available farmland could hold enough solar panels to power the Enium 50 times over and provide all of Australia's energy 14 times over and the land is not destroyed. It didn't even get the equivalence to 4x greater Melrite, 40,000 square km. That concludes our analysis of the Twitter exchange. Share your opinions in the comments below. If you found this video insightful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow political enthusiasts, and subscribe for more in-depth discussions on Australians' politics. Thanks for being with us on Respected Minister and we'll catch you in the next video. Stay engaged and stay informed.